India is stepping into the global spotlight in the race for hypersonic missile supremacy. On April 26, 2025, the Indian Ministry of Defence announced a landmark achievement, the successful ground test of a subscale scramjet engine by the Defence Research and Development Laboratory or DRDL, a Hyderabad-based arm of the DRDO. This scramjet engine was test run for more than 1,000 seconds, a staggering improvement over the earlier test in January this year, which lasted just 120 seconds. The ministry confirmed that with this success, the system is now heading towards full-scale, flight-worthy combustor testing. This is a pivotal moment in India's missile technology journey. If future tests succeed, India could emerge as a global leader in air-breathing hypersonic missile development, an arena where only Russia has operational capabilities today. So how did India get here? The foundation was laid with the Hypersonic Technology Demonstrator Vehicle or HSTDV program. This project successfully validated a kerosene-fueled scramjet-powered vehicle that achieved sustained flight at Mach 6.5 for more than 20 seconds back in September 2020. That success firmly placed India in the elite league of hypersonic technology developers. However, scaling up hypersonic flight to operational missile systems involves brutal technical challenges from surviving extreme temperatures over 2000 degrees Celsius to mastering rapid combustion inside the scramjet. India scientists at DRDL tackled these hurdles head-on. They developed a new scramjet engine using active cooling where the engine is kept from melting by circulating coolant, offering the fuel itself through embedded channels. Simultaneously, they employed thermal barrier coatings or TBCs applying a ceramic layer that acts as a shield inside the combustor, helping withstand temperatures exceeding 2,500 degrees Celsius. A critical leap came with the development of endothermic fuels, special kerosene-based fuels that absorb massive amounts of heat before combustion, safeguarding the engine while ensuring efficient ignition at hypersonic speeds. Collaborating with Indian industry partners, DRDL succeeded in scaling up the production of this complex fuel vital for sustained hypersonic operations. The breakthrough didn't stop there. In partnership with the Department of Science and Technology Lab, DRDL also created an advanced ceramic TBC engineered to handle extreme thermal stresses and extend the engine's lifespan. Together, these innovations now put India within striking distance of fielding operational air-breathing hypersonic cruise missiles, a capability that very few countries possess. Interestingly, India is already collaborating with Russia on the BrahMos 2 hypersonic missile project. While it's unclear if the current scramjet is directly linked to BrahMos 2, it's conceivable that India's indigenous scramjet engine could eventually replace Russian components, boosting India's technological self-reliance. Nevertheless, India's hypersonic ambitions are clear to not just catch up with the US and China, but to potentially outpace them. With this latest success, India has sent a clear message. The future of hypersonic warfare may well be shaped in Hyderabad.